Hi, I'm Russ Mitchell sitting in for Katie Couric tonight. Here's what we're working on tonight's CBS Evening News. And as you can imagine, we've got a lot of coverage on the death of President Gerald Ford tonight. The president died last night at his home in California. The 38th president of the U.S., the only U.S. president in history never to be elected vice president or president. A lot of stuff to talk about today. Bill Owen, senior producer here at the Evening News, is here as well. And you think about this guy. You did, I mean, all sorts of things come to mind. Football star, University of Michigan. Uh, maybe the best. Uh, he's remembered um, as being clumsy. Saturday Night Live used to make fun of him. Um, he, in fact, told our Phil Jones, who covered him on the Capitol, that that bothered him, that uh, he thought of himself as probably the best athlete ever to, uh, to sit in the uh, Oval Office. And, um, you know, he stumbled a couple times getting on and off of Air Force One. But he didn't think that was funny. He didn't. He actually, oh, you know, it's a, you've got a camera on you 24 hours a day, and, uh, you know, he happened to slip on some ice once, and anyway. Um, but we are lucky to have an interview that Phil Jones did with Gerald Ford in 1984. Russ and I have been uh, looking at this morning, um, and it was done. Phil Jones had a very good rapport with the president, covered him as a congressman, and there's some really interesting bits that we're going to uh, include in our broadcast tonight that haven't ever been heard before, and that's not, uh, that's the truth. They've never been heard before. That's it's fascinating. We were talking about this earlier today. I mean, Gerald Ford was president for just a little over two years, but the things that happened during his presidency, he, he pardoned Richard Nixon, very controversial decision. Some historians think that's why he lost the election in 1976 to, to uh, Jimmy Carter. Uh, again, the only president and vice president never to have been elected to office. Um, the, the history, the, the legacy, and how this guy is going to be remembered is going to be something. I remember the day after he t assumed office from Richard Nixon as he left office. He had this button, mm -hmm. win, whip inflation now. Mm -hmm. his, his, his whole idea at that point was to kind of take us out of our long national nightmare, which yeah. we'll get into, that's right, that's right. <laughs> which we'll get into as well, and, and, and change the focus to, to inflation, whipping inflation. Uh, the other thing we talked about this morning was you can't mention uh, Jerry Ford without mentioning Betty Ford in the next breath, really. And Hattie Kaufman is going to take a look at uh, Betty Ford's, um, obviously, the, the role she played in the White House uh, as, as the First Lady. But her legacy, um, she's released a statement on the passing of her husband, but her legacy after the White House, which has meant so much to so many people uh, here in the state, we're also going to cover uh, the other, uh, other news of the day in, uh, in the broadcast, but we're going to really pay attention, obviously, to the passing of, of Gerald Ford and uh, his life and times. That's right. Bob Schieffer is going to be here, going to talk to him. Douglas Brinkley, presidential historian, is going to be here as well. So you'll be here with us, too, tonight on the CBS Evening News. See you then.